Hi guys, today I want to do a quick unboxing of these Mizuno tennis shoes and this model is called Wave XC2. Let's go ahead and open the box and give it a closer look. My first impressions are this is a very nice color. So let me just shut the box down and give it a closer look. There's a lot of red on the shoe with a bit of fluorescent and the laces I think they make a nice combination um, what else there's a little bit of white as well it has a rubbery feel to it and then let's turn around hmm. and this is interesting I, I'm seeing this in quite a few of the tennis shoes these days the uh, midsole is designed quite different I'm not sure what it does but it's probably supposed to make your heel feel quite more comfortable um, the under part of your uh, the mid part of your uh, foot actually and then the shoes also seem to have a lot of grip on the sole that's good so let's take a closer look a little bit in the front um, I can see that the top material is a little bit softer finished than what I would have liked. I would have probably preferred a little more tougher material here so that I have some good support on my toes. Um, although on the um, on the bigger toe I think there is a little more support although I can't say it is too much. So if you press this it is quite soft uh, but there's a little bit of cloth kind of material in between which probably makes it a little bit better where it folds. And now let's check the flexibility of the shoe. Let me just bend this and see. So it is, it is fairly flexible, although not very, very flexible. Uh, I would say it is still fairly flexible. It should be enough for you to um, you know, run on the coat and have the sole flexing a bit. I, I think the material on the um, heel portion is a little more supported. And there's a little more harder, so if I press this, there's a lot more heat support, I think, which will be good for my sideways movement uh, uh, on the baseline. So I'm a little more happier with the heel portion of the support that's provided rather than the front one, which is quite soft. And um, if you look at this, I think there is a little bit of uh, breathability also has been enhanced in the shoe. You can see so. It will be good for your long play where you have a little more um, chances of the air circulating inside the shoe. As I said, the sole feels really nice and solid. Uh, I'll have to see how long it will last, but um, this does look like a good sole. Let me just go ahead and open the shoe and take a closer look at it. So this part is quite thin, the thin, the tongue part of the shoe and uh, the inside sole, the inner sole is not exactly, okay in fact I can actually pull it out. Um, so if you look at it, there's a little bit of a soft feel to it, hopefully it will last me out. I do have the problem where I jam my toes a lot, so I'm a little worried about how long this part of the shoe will last. Um, the other thing that I have uh, while playing is uh, I, I tend to press a lot into the shoe with my toes. Uh, so when I take off my foot from the shoe, it actually leaves marks on the sole where <laughs> almost I can make out five toes on the shoe. Uh, when I pull it out, uh, when I pull my foot out of the shoe, so I'm not sure how long that will last. But all in all, I'm quite happy with this. This looks like an interesting um, shoe and um, hopefully it will be long lasting as well. So I'm going to just go ahead and um, check it out I, on my feet what it does. It 
does feel quite nice though my feet um, though it's probably a little bit on the larger side than what I would have wanted um, so I can feel my toe out here and I find a little bit of space in the front which is not very good news because I tend to rush a lot to the net and um, my foot will probably keep moving in front of the shoe and leave a gap at the back of the shoe so I probably need a smaller size uh, so that's something that you'll probably keep, want to keep in mind uh, when you're buying this shoe um, so it's if you're probably a eight and a half you're probably better off um, buying an eight size um, so this is of course my own pr personal preference and let me just see if I can pull it out oh yeah so I don't even have to loosen my lace uh, to pull the shoe out so clearly this is one size too big for me so I'm gonna send this back um, to the outlet and ask them to send me a smaller size so let me just also compare it with my other running shoe just to see if there's a difference in the size and I don't see too much of a difference though so that's interesting because these are my running shoes which I had and this is the new tennis shoe that I'll be hitting the courts with soon so that's it guys this was the quick review of the Mizuno tennis shoes uh, this model is called Wave XC2 and this is the all court version and I paid about 40 pounds uh, for this shoe so at 40 pounds I think this is a good buy to have um, because most of the um, good tennis shoes even on sale you would probably have to pay at least 50 to 60 pounds to pay a, to buy a good pair of tennis shoes so at 40 pounds this looks like a good buy and uh, definitely worth a try for myself so if you did find the video useful please do hit the like button guys Thank you everyone. Bye-bye.